Today, we're going to be talking about a DXM trip that I've had. This happened whenever I was in rehab. They always have locks on medication, like that stuff. So everybody got sick one week and we were all down with the cold, common cold. So they decided to go buy us a bunch of uh, cold medicine to help us. So I would double staff a lot, which means I would go to like multiple people a day around the same time and ask for <laughs> medications because there wasn't really like a list of meds that they kept track of. So <laughs> um, at that specific one, I think I was the reason that they started doing it though. <laughs> so um, I um, had asked for like multiple times I had gotten, they would hand me the bottle. So I would just grab as much as I want. So like I ended up grabbing about, Oh, I think I, I was like three, 400 milligrams of DXM altogether. And this is mixed with like the gross stuff, the guafacin and the, you know, it's bad for you. It's horrible. They're on the gel tab, the, not the gel tab, the gel capsules. And, um, they're pretty, they're pretty gross. Honestly, they make you want to throw up and like, you have to like, whenever you're doing that, you seal it, you have to like go and take them really, really quick or else, you know, they're going to know. So you're just like, Ugh. It's so gross. So, anyway, I took all of those really, really quick and turned my back so I could cough them down because I couldn't fucking, couldn't really do anything about it. It just tasted so gross. So, that happened. Um, so, I went back upstairs and I was in my room on my phone uh, just waiting to come up and... <laughs> Whenever I started to come up, um, it was pretty strong. I think it, yeah, it, I think, yeah, it was definitely like 400, like 300, 400. I swear it was probably about 400 milligrams. So like maybe just shy, but I think it was about 400 milligrams. So started to come up. I started to feel a little bit shaky. It felt like my head was like moving side to side, even though that I wasn't trying to do that. I would focus hyper focus on that really. I was just keep on moving my head back and I was just listening to music like I always do. And um, I started to just look around the room and I, my vision just kept on going in and out. I was looking at the closet door and I kept on seeing it like slowly. It's one of those ones that like open up like this. So I kept on seeing it like slowly shake, like it, like somebody was trying to close it or open it from the inside or try to push it from the middle. And I thought that, that was pretty interesting, but I started to look up at the fan and just started to see these trails. So many trails on the fan, on the ceiling fan. Uh, you And I was just like moving around my head, like trying to like match the speed of the fan. I don't know why I thought I could catch up to it, but I, I tried. <laughs> so um, I would, um, I found myself actually kind of like zoning out and, oh, and like looking at the light bulbs and then closing my eyes and like getting some really, really weird visuals um i was sitting there on the bed and i was just nodding in and out kind of i hadn't taken dxm in a really like like I, my tolerance had probably reset by this point so i was like really really ugh, i couldn't i was trying to like sing the song i was listening to i was listening to eminem um godzilla and i was just trying to sing it because i can usually i can usually kind of halfway sing half of the song pretty decent so like i was trying to do that and i just couldn't I just couldn't do it. It was too difficult. So I was just sitting there, just listening to it at that point. Loud as hell, by the way, in my ears. It like caused my eyes to like vibrate like this in place. So it was pretty uh, weird and interesting. <laughs> um, the visuals I was seeing. So 420. <laughs> okay. Um, I was uh, starting to listen to um, other music like um, uh, Maggot Brain by Funkadelic. That's one of my favorite songs. You guys should totally listen to it. You guys should also like subscribe, like the video if you guys are watching still. Um, it really helps me and my motivation a, a, a lot. And uh, the more views and subscribers I get, the more effort I'm going to put into these videos. So that's a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah, just listening to the music because it really, really feels good to listen to music. And I just remember laying down flat like this, <laughs> just flat. 
and just feeling like 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 the like I was like spinning like it was like felt like the room was like moving kind of um, uh funny enough like I was just like almost getting like dizzy from it <laughs> but at this point I decided that I was going to go back and join everybody so they're all addicts by the way like they probably knew exactly what the hell was going on as soon as it happened they were all asking me if I was okay if I was good and I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm fine. Like slurring my speech like that a lot because you can't help. Like, especially whenever you ever re reset on your tolerance, that's basically what happens. You just start doing that. Start slurring. And then like, you can't think of things all at once. You get this head fog, really. And I started to get these really, really intense visuals, like in my eyes, in my face really, really strong visuals, like, and I was, like, still trying to talk to people and start to seem a little bit normal because I'm kind of talkative and stuff, and, um, my one friend, he knew exactly what the hell was going on <laughs> with that. He could tell. He was like, dude, are, what are you on? <laughs> and I was like, dude, I'm not on anything because I knew that he was, that I couldn't trust anybody. I knew I couldn't trust anybody. <laughs> so I was, um, just trying to make conversation and uh, I slipped up, and I wasn't really paying attention, and I kind of did mention that I was a little fucked up, so my friend kept on prying and prying and prying, so I told him it was DXM, so he was like, I'll, I won't tell anybody, so he didn't end up telling anybody, but um, since I was an inpatient, they um, found out because of, like, they sent off my urine to the lab, and they figured it out, because, and I knew I was going to get caught for it, uh, it was stupid, but I still wanted to get high because I just hadn't gotten high in for so long and um uh I remember I could like smell certain like smells and it was really really uh like like, like specific smells like I could kind of like smell like uh metal in the room like it was kind of like I could smell water it was like I could I don't I don't know how to explain how that how that makes sense but I could like smell water um I started to um, nod off a lot, and I was in like the middle of a, a group, a two-hour group, and I had my sunglasses on at that point, and they knew, they kept on saying, I, uh, you need to wake up, um, you need to wake up, and I kept on falling back asleep, falling back asleep, but eventually like the group was over, and I went back and sat in the day room, and I was just watching the visuals on the wall like I could see like colors like a purplish color hue to everything um it was really really uh cool to see like everything shine everything everything just seems so beautiful on DXM it was one of my favorites um I w I don't condone the use of any if anything but like I really did like the way that it made me feel it was pretty great um I tripped for about a good eight hours, I swear, because I hadn't done it in so long. And uh, eventually, yeah, like a few other people did find out because they could just tell by the way I was acting. And like, you can usually act pretty normal. You just feel like you're acting different. But like, since they're addicts, they knew. They knew. Um, nobody told on me, but I should have probably got told on for it because that's breaking my sobriety and, sh and stuff like that. I had just gotten my 30-day sobriety coin um uh, sadly i didn't really feel bad about that at that point but uh i did regret it definitely did uh i remember just being really really hungry i ate i ate like crazy it was almost like i had the munchies and i went through all my snacks and all my all my food stamps for the month and pretty much <laughs> on one trip to the store um, so I ended up eating all the things I had, so that sucked. Um, I was really, really laughing and giggly. I couldn't stop laughing. I was just cheesing out the whole time. Uh, everything anybody would say that was like a joke, I would just laugh, crazy laugh. I couldn't breathe. My chest would hurt. My chest actually hurt after this trip because, like, I was just, like, tensing it up, and it seemed like it was just a lot going on at once, and... But, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much how it went. Um, <clears throat> the the visuals went down, died down eventually. But my slurred speech didn't didn't seem to be 
fixed until like the next day. It was, um, it was a pretty long <laughs> exhaust. Cause I was just really, really trying to like not get caught. So I was like, I really almost didn't even enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed just feeling just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, you guys should like, subscribe, follow my, my new Reddit, you know, DPH God, all caps, you slap r slash dph god all caps and then r slash dph ghost which is my original reddit um i don't know about the discord try to find somebody that that has it uh, of course i'll have everything like like that in the description uh like subscribe comment share this shit it's a really really good story um i really really wanted to make this video because i didn't really have anything out so there's that anyway have a good one